I started working with resin before I actually established the Elise Graham Studio and it's turned into what I think will be a lifelong curiosity. I let that curiosity lead the way. Resin can be pigmented and dyed to any color in the rainbow. We customize all of our pigments and dyes and create a custom palette for each project. I like contrast. I like the colors and the work that I create to have a conversation with one another. Something that's a little bit upsetting or something that's a little bit discordant with what you might expect. We use many, many different types of resins depending on what we want to accomplish. We're using resin, which is supposed to be used as a casting material, and we're making it into a raw material. We cast everything into raw shapes. There's nothing final about them. We start small, simple patterns, circles, stripes. By casting, cutting, and recasting, we create complex patterns that are beyond anything we could have imagined. That's the reason that we call it meta-material. It's material that we create to make material to make finished work. we see a little bit of control. Sometimes the bandsaw blade isn't at the perfect angle. Sometimes I cut something and reveal an unexpected shape, or the piece breaks, and we put it back in the mold. I'm constantly surprised. We make these pieces, I think I understand the pattern that we're creating, and then I flip it over and I'm blown away. We use pieces cut from previous projects in almost every new project. So, in a way, the entire history of the studio is in every piece we make. We've broken the bounds of the mold, and we're free to build and create whatever we like. For me, that's the newest frontier in resin work. <laughs>